Hi, welcome to Sunday School. Today is May 10th of 2020, and it is the fifth Sunday of Easter. All right, let's start off with Martin Luther's morning prayer from the Lutheran Book of Prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. I thank you, my heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger, and I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil, that all my doings in life may please you, for into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen. All right, so today's Bible passage comes from John chapter 14, verses 1 through 14. It says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God, all believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many rooms. If it were not so, I would have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am, you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you're going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you had known me, you would have known my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Father Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, and it is enough for us. Jesus said to him, Have I been with you so long, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, Show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own authority, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me, or else believe on account of the works themselves. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do, and greater works than these will he do, because I am going to the Father. Whatever you ask in my name, this I will do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask me anything in my name, I will do it. All right, so that's that's pretty interesting. Jesus was being very straightforward. He was just saying, I am, like, believe in me, pray in my name, and it will be done. He is saying that he and the Father are one as well. In Martin Luther's commentary on this passage, he claims that Jesus is stating that he is the beginning, middle, and end of salvation. Pretty much the bottom line for this passage is trust in Jesus because he is the way, the truth, and the life. All right, now, it's time for us to be, do the Apostles' Creed. We do it once in English because our congregation speaks English, and then we do it again in German because Martin Luther translated it into German so that the German people would know what they were reciting. All right, let's go. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. All right, now in German. Ich glaube an Gott, den Vater, den Allmächtigen, den Schöpfer des Himmels und der Erde, und an Jesus Christus, seinen eingeborenen Sohn, unserem Herrn, empfangen durch den Heiligen Geist, geboren von der Jungfrau Maria, gelitten unter Pontius Pilatus, gekreuzigt, gestorben und begraben, hinabgestiegen in das Reich des Todes, am dritten Tage auferstanden von den Toten, aufgefahren in den Himmel. Er sitzt zu Rechten Gottes, des allmächtigen Vaters. Von dort wird er kommen, zu richten die Lebenden und die Toten. Ich glaube an den Heiligen Geist, die heilige christliche Kirche, Gemeinschaft der Heiligen, Vergebung der Sünden, Auferstehung der Toten und das ewige Leben. Amen. All right. I will see you next week.